game of games here. Just before the video starts, just wanted to say this is going to be my first collaboration video. It's going to be with Ramatier Gaming. I'll put his link in the description. And we'll just get right into the video. So here we go. Ramatier here. I'm here with the Minus Master right here, which is actually a guy, just to point that out. So any of the guys going like, oh my god, he's she's so hot. Yeah, that's a guy. So I am we're playing. Male on the inside. Okay, so we're playing some game that I made up. It's called Make Your Own Story, or we'll probably figure out some other new name for it. So we have a book, and we're going to centralize what we're going to write about. And after we finish, we're going to give it to the, the, oppo the opposite person. Well, no, we're not going to give it to the opposite person, but we're going to read it out loud. So... We'll start writing right now, so minus you sit down, I'll sit down, I'll start writing. Uh, okay, here's the thing, we have, we gotta centralize the book around getting on a plane and crashing on an abandoned island. Kind of like the movie, no, not movie, kind of like the TV show Lost. Alright, alright. I think I got this. Okay. Wait. Where's Where's Boca Raton at? What? Do you know what what country Boca Raton is? No. I'm trying to figure out how to spell it. I don't even know. I'm just gonna make up a random place. Let's see. Okay. All right. I'm gonna I'm gonna mute my mic so I can I can try and figure out the story. Okay. Okay, guys, we're going to write about an amazing book. We were on. Okay. I will have my famous Simeon Russell the character be in this book, guys. So. We're on our way to. Um. A adventurous. Run away to the magical land of Boca Raton. <laughs> All right. My parents are there too. But I, I didn't care for them. Since uh, I only agreed to go on this trip. The commentary is beautiful. Because beautiful commentary. Destined to see the great master Bob from Boca Raton. If anyone out there is obese, I'm really sorry, but th this this is not how I think about obese people. But I'm putting it in the book. Because that's how Simeon Russell is. His ways. What did I say Simeon Russell was again? And also, if 
and you catch my name. It's yes. Like subtraction. I don't know what those people walking across the plains to are. Minus. Minus, are you there? I'm making my story. Uh, what are the, those people that are on the plains that do the, uh, uh, walk across the thing, the plane, serving food? I feel like it's kind of like a like maid. A, I don't know. I Stuart know there's like... There's like flight attendants. Is it Stuart? Um, I don't. I, have no I feel idea. like it's Stuart. I, I'm gonna type Stuart. Stuart. On the whole. I am gonna head back to mine. So. As we. We're smoothly gliding across the blue skies. I looked out my window to the left. Almost jumped. I was so terrified. A huge was coming off the wing. Brother seemed to not notice. Without making a commotion, I walked got out of my seat. Okay, uh, I think I put that perfectly. Not mm. sure what you are thinking, but minus minus, see there? Yes, I'm here. Did I lose mine? Okay, I have. Okay, what page are you on currently? Well, since you, since. Since I was, I was scrambling to unmute my mic, I just I resetted the story. 
Really? Yeah. But I, I was I was on the second page, huh? Or third. Okay, so how about when we get to page 10, we stop? Yeah, whenever I, like, I, pr I keep pressing escape, and it, like, messes it up. I don't know why. Okay, I'm gonna keep right there. Okay. I'll sit next to my brother. What would I have after that? Let's see, guys. I was gonna write fast. Okay, I'm not going to put the, uh... That's not the comma. Up oh, there, I butchered his name. Oh no, my! So, I'm with that book. Here's a little sneak peek of that. Okay, guys, we just finished our books. We're gonna trade our books. So here's mine. All right, here's mine. Okay. Oh, oh it's called Baba's. I'm recording. <laughs> okay, but actually. De minus you read first. Alright, I'll read it. Okay, so... Wait, I'll just read the title first. A Great Story by Remeteer. Original. Chapter 1. Ah, we gonna crash. A few people were taken on the plane. Simeon Russell, a man, an adventurous man, laid back in the chair, laying only one arm in the armrest. He looked over to his side, an obese man, with a horde stench sat next to him. Putrid. The smell was awful. Simeon doesn't have issues with obese people. He just disliked how they were. 
how their bodies were deformed. It always made him cringe. He stood up, soon running into a steward. It was a young lass, quite beautiful as well. She looked incredibly beautiful with blonde hair. Excuse me? S Simeon said. Before the words left her mouth, he frowned on her mouth. Wait, what? Okay, that's kind of weird. I don't know if it's a typo or not, but it says, He frowned on her mouth adjusted to an accent. Wait, let me see the book for a second. Let me see what it is. Wait, let's see. It was on page three. Might have a typo or something. Three, uh... Before the words left her mouth, he frowned. Oh, so that there was... Wait, let me see it again. It's... You're reading it wrong. It says frowned. Yeah, that's what I said. It said, before the words left her mouth, he frowned. And then after that, it says, on her mouth. Adjusted. Wait, really? Yeah. What the heck? I mean, okay, let me see. Uh, uh, before the words left her mouth, he frowned. Oh, wow, okay. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. <laughs> It's supposed to say on when her mouth adjusted. Okay. So, on when her mouth adjusted to an accent. Well, excuse you. She said with the heaviest Jersey accent he had ever heard. Yeah, gotta make it all Jersey. So much for being a polite steward. Simeon responded with disappointment, focusing on his face. He just shuffled away from her, entering the hall into the cockpit. Kept it. He paused, looking at the captain laying on the controls. Is he asleep? Simeon, close... Simeon crept close to the captain, lifting his head up. The captain was lifeless. He went into the halls, where all the passages were, and it was empty. Is this a nightmare? He screamed. He then felt the plane dip down from its current altitude, decreasing fast. He looked around and put his seatbelt and braced for impact. The ground was rock hard. He saw a faint image of him slipping away. He closed his eyes and things went dark. Chapter 2 Mer Murgard Murgard Word of Furk Arwi. Yeah, uh, that's my amazing name. Okay. Simon woke up, grasping his chest. That blonde chick with a heavy Jersey accent sat there, looking at him. Same dream again? She, s she said, her accent lighter than it was in the dream. Yeah, yeah, he looked up. And saw the older survivor, the the yeah, saw the other survivors. That obese man, the captain, the Jersey girl, a black child with his black father, a three other women. That the author doesn't want to get in detail with. Simon picked up a book, <laughs> which belonged to a pile of, of what didn't perish. He looked at the book, which was a magazine. He blinked a few times and flipped out, throwing the magazine. What? The Jersey girl asked with curiosity, who brings a Playboy magazine to a trip to Hawaii? The girl giggled at him as he sat up and looked at the wreckage of the plane. Out of 200, we, we thrived. Amazing. He said, Amaze he, he said with amazement in his eyes. There's another typo. We should find food. The obese man said he looked at him. Or the, we should find food, the obese man said. He looked at him because he was obese. He, always, he was always hungry. But then Simon felt hunger gnawing at his stomach, gnawing at his stomach too. He nodded, and they headed into the woods, and they got killed. The end. Yeah, I didn't know what to put at the end, so there. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I. Now, okay. Yeah, I kind of had to wrap my, wrap my book up quickly too. Okay, so it, it it's called Bob is Love. So we're gonna read this with really intense, and in every voice or every. Every quote I'm gonna say with a really annoying accent. All right. Uh, open the book. I was sitting next to brother. We were on our way to Boca Raton. Uh, what? Boca don't Raton. know how this. Don't know how to say that. My parents were out, were there too, but I didn't care for for them much. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I only agreed to come because I was destined to see the great master Bob, of Boca Raton. <laughs> He would t 
Teach me all his ways, and if you couldn't, didn't catch my name, it's Minus. Yes, it likes subtraction and math. But anyways, let's get on with the story. We were gliding smoothly across the blue skies, and when all of a sudden, I see a cloud of smoke trailing from the left wing all out my window. I almost jumped. I was so scared my brother next to me didn't seem to notice. So I calmly got up and walked over to the flight attendant. How may I help you, she, she said. She said, I bluntly replied replied with we need to land this plane now sir we sir we will arrive arriving in boca right in with it within two hours can't you wait no ma'am this is serious <laughs> there are trails of smoke smoke outside the window coming out the plane and i think the fuel tank is uh, all of a sudden there's an explosion everything goes black to a split second later to my surprise i find myself laying right right where I just was standing near the pilot door, but the flight attendant was gone. The, and the plane did not feel like it was moving anymore. And I scrambled to find the window. I t looked out and saw only only beautiful scenery. I was still confused as why no one was around. I just tried to call my brother on my cell phone. No reception. So I walked out of the emergency exit and opened with a chute leading onto the ground. Still no reception. I yelled, Hello! Is anyone there? I walked around a bit, walked over the uh, over hills, walked through valleys, through walk, walked through forests, no one. Then all of a sudden, when I reach the top of the mountain, I see I see something off in the distance. No, that can't be. It is. It's the Grand Master of Boca Raton's Temple. I, I can't believe it. We made it. No, I... Although I was still curious as to where everyone else was, maybe they ran out parachutes and I was lucky. There was no way to tell them. I ran as fast as I can to the great the temple. Great master was waiting at the door. Hello, young one. What brings you here? Hey, great master Bob. I've been waiting for this moment my entire life. Well, all my life, but okay. Well, I, I would... Wait, I got to give it really, really uh, grandpa voice. Well, hello, I like you. Well, I like you. I would like you to come this way. So we, we walked through the great lavishing, the lavish temple. He brought me to the next room. It was his sex that Whoa. <laughs> whoa. <laughs> that, whoa. My greatest moment has come. All the other passengers on board have been ra brutally raped and killed, but he had chosen me. To make the great journey here with and become one with him. Bob is love. Bob is love. What the <laughs> hell? <laughs> yeah, I just had to like close it up somehow, so that's how I did it. Okay, <laughs> that that turned out really bad. Yeah. Okay, thank you guys for watching this video oh, with me and the Minus Master. I hope you guys enjoy. Leave a like. Tell your friends. Your mom does count as a friend, so I don't care if your mom. You tell your mom. Yeah, I don't but care about my mom. My mom loves my channel. But thank you guys for watching. All right. I'll see you guys later. Bye. There we All go. Right. Goodbye. Okay. You're